Nicola Sturgeon has given a press conference from Butte House, in which announced her resignation after eight years in her role as Scottish First Minister. Nicola Sturgeon has announced she will be resigning as leader of the Scottish National Party after more than eight years in the role. A source close to the SNP leader said she had had enough. Ms Sturgeon spoke at a hastily arranged press conference from her residence at Butte House in Edinburgh. The outgoing First Minister said she would remain in post until a successor is appointed. The FM said the time is right for her to step down, something she said she knows instinctively, describing her decision to step down as a duty. Ms Sturgeon said being First Minister of Scotland is the very best job in the world adding that it was a privilege beyond measure to be, but, in a nod to the row over trans rights, she denied that her decision to step down came as a result of short-term pressures. She added, I know it might seem sudden but I have been wrestling with it with oscillating levels of intensity for a few weeks. The SNP leader also appeared to give up on her dream for Scottish independence, saying she wants her party to choose its plan for pursuing the goal without the influence of a leader who might, she said, I free the SNP to choose the path that believes to be the right one. Speaking about the future of the independence movement, she added, By making my decision clear now I free the SNP to make the right decision. We're at a critical moment, she warned, saying the cause of independence is bigger than any one individual. Ms Sturgeon became the country's longest-serving first minister after more than eight years in the role. She took over as the party leader in November 2014 after the SNP's failed independence referendum, taking over from Alex Salmond. Just weeks ago, the SNP leader told the BBC that she had plenty left in the tank. Reacting to the news, Alison Thewlis, SNP MP for Glasgow Central and the party's Home Affairs spokesperson,